when I first met God many years ago, uh, I would always hear people say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. We could say that about this year, couldn't we? We could say that about this is the year that God has made. You know, it kind of represents almost a stewardship issue that I've got this year in front of me and I have the opportunity to manage this year for God and his glory for my family, for my future. I have the ability to be intentional about it, to be a victor and not a victim about it. I get to decide. Also like the old praise song they used to sing a hundred years ago when, you know, I was 30 something years ago. It feels like, uh, his mercies, it's from scripture, his mercies are new every morning. And you know, this time of year, we stop and think about stuff like that. This is the time of year when you stop and say, I get a clean slate. I, his mercies are new every year. I get a new year. The new year is in front of me. It's clean. It's optional what I make of it. But here's the thing. A large number of people walk through Life as if in a dream, as if they were somehow controlled by someone else, as if they had no impact on their own destiny. Yes, there's outside variables. There's outside things that happen to us that we can't control. You could drive through a stoplight today and some, or someone could drive through a stoplight and hit you today. You've got no way of fixing that. You can't control that. All you can control is how you react to all of the things that are going to happen this year. And you can control whether or not you're going to choose to be a force of nature in your own life. A sense of intentionality. A sense of, yeah, there's things out there that happen and there's things that I can't control, but there's a whole bunch of things. I maybe just need to take some first steps on getting some control in areas of my life. You hate your job? Well, you need to be listening to the Ken Coleman show on Sirius XM 132. But if you hate your job, maybe you need to do something about it. I've never really understood people who spend year after year after year doing something they hate. That indicates that you don't think you have any power. Yeah, you do. Begin to take the steps. Now, you don't have to walk out today and quit and leave your family with no ability to buy groceries. I'm not suggesting that. But for goodness sakes, if you've been in a job for five years that you hate, set yourself up to say, by the end of the year, I'm not going to be doing this anymore. I'm going to do, what have I got to do? What steps have I got to take? What classes have I got to take? What certifications have I got to take? How do I start my own business? What am I going to do by the end of the year? I'm stuck in debt. No, you're not. Your brain is stuck. But you're not stuck in debt. We've walked millions of people out of debt. You can't become wealthy in America today. Oh, yeah, you can. There's 10 million plus millionaires and 90 something percent of them started with nothing. And that's in America today. You're not stuck. I mean, the, the man doesn't control you and the politics of the GOP or the Democrats don't run or ruin your life. You do. You do. It's the power of intentionality, the power of saying, I'm going to be intentional about what I want out of this area of my life. Because what you plant in that area of your life, if you plant nothing, you're going to grow a big old big butt crop of nothing. You plant nothing, you're going to get nothing back in. Man, you're going to get a bumper crop of nothing right back. But if you say, hey, I'm going to change my physical life this year, how many of us are going to lose some weight? Yeah, me too. I ate my weight in Christmas cookies. It's time to start fresh, right? Yeah. Got to gotta break this. It's got to gotta start, man. Got to get on with it. You know, I'm going to get myself in better financial condition. I'm going to change jobs. I'm going to impact my marriage. I'm going to do differently with the kiddos, other relationships. I've got a good friend who sent me a note yesterday. He goes, you know, everybody's got these great, great resolutions. I'm just going to not be as grouchy. <laughs> I thought, for that guy, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> he was probably aiming that at me, too. But I'm just going to not be as grouchy. I'm just not going to be as negative, you know. So, hey, begin to lay out some things. 
Ask yourself, what has to be true that's not true today for this area of my life to be completely different by the end of the year? And that's not a resolution. That's a goal. And that's admitting and saying, this is the year that God has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to impact. I'm going to plant so that I harvest intentionally. I'm not going to. I've got a friend that has been watching CNN and Fox News 24-7. We're going to have to put the boy in a rubber room. It has ruined his life. He needs to say, I'm going to put different things into my brain this year. Garbage in, garbage out. As I mean, really, they spend an awful lot of time just trying to come up with something to say. Yeah, we're on both those stations and we're friends with most of those folks. We're not mad at them or anything like that. But really, if you just sit and watch the news all day long, you're going to just want to just explode. Man, I'm telling you. Find something else to feed your brain with this year. Make a decision to impact and make and, and, and cause things to happen in your life. If you hate your job, by the end of the year, leave. Do not stay in a job you hate. Not more than 12 months. And if you don't take steps to begin to get out of there, you're not ever going to get out of there. You're not stuck because anybody stuck you. You're stuck because you think you're stuck. You're not stuck in debt for any reason other than you think you're stuck. You're not stuck in middle class or lower class or poverty any, in America any more than because you think you're stuck. It's a mentality. So make a decision. This is the year that the Lord has made. Rejoice. Happy New Year. And be glad in it. Decide to do something different this year so that you get something different this year. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.